I tell people, don't vote for Peter Obi because he is an Igbo man. I tell people, don't vote for Peter Obi because he's, he is an Igbo man, Peter Obi says. <laughs> the former governor of Anambra State and the presidential candidate for the Labour Party, Mr. Peter Obi, while speaking during the International Youth Day celebration, made it known that he has always told people not to vote for him because he is an Igbo man. He said they should vote based on competence. While speaking, the outstanding politician Peter Obi stated that the current economic challenges the national is grappling with is a result of leadership failure. Adding that the year 2023 offers the people an opportunity to change the narrative. According to Peter Obi, he said, I have told people not to vote for me, not to vote for Peter Obi because he is an Igbo man. Is there anywhere in the Southeast that things have sold cheaper than other regions or anywhere in the North that bread is sold cheaper than other regions? So why are we arguing about if the candidate is a Muslim or a Christian? We have to vote based on competence, Peter Obi said. <laughs> well, he have just said it all. You know, I laugh, I laugh over, uh, over this when people will say, Peter Obi is from the Southeast. Peter Obi will end up, you know, and then the Nigerian uh, nation to IPOB, uh, to Biafra nation or whatever, <laughs> I will love. Do you know why I love over it? Why is it that people are linking Peter Obi to Biafra agitation? When they have agitations everywhere in Nigeria, in the Southwest, there is agitation. In the North, there is agitation. In the southeast, there is agitation. In fact, all in in all the regions in this country, agitation is everywhere, because these governments they have failed, and they failed swiftly. Now, how many Nigerians are ready to do the right thing? How many people are ready to say, "I beg, I don't want to collect ten thousand naira, make I just do the need for"? How many of them will do that? Because it seems that we are just uh, concerned about, you know, our immediate problem. Our immediate problem. Make we just solve this problem. No, 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 no. You know the talk of tomorrow. Your future, your unborn children. The situation in Nigeria today is a really pitiable one. You live in Nigeria, even if, say, you're not there in Nigeria, you die abroad. Your people, when they're in Nigeria, they tell you what they, they go through. You understand? Is it really very bad? If we can forget about where the person is coming from, forget about the person's religion, vote for competency, forget about the party. That is what we are talking about. If we don't do that, we are, we are not going to end from this. It go foul, not be saying a lie. If we not go feel push out this, where Peter will be from come, where Itinubu from come, where Atiku from come, where Kwan Kwasu from come, and look for the most qualified person among all these pre presidential candidates and do the needful. You see, what Peter will be said is truth. Because so many persons, they are still agitating on this. Don't vote for Peter will be, oh. Peter will be is from the Southeast. They are agitating there. It gets weird and they agitate. But I go kind of ask myself this question. Why is it that this agitation for Southeast don't come to one kind, one kind big thing? In the Southwest, Bola Tinubu is not linked to uh, the one nation agitation. But if I may ask why, because they are agitating in the Southwest. They are not linking Atiku Abubakar with Boko Haram and bandits who have rendered this country useless. They have not 
They don't. But this Peter Obi, just because it's from the southeast, like what I always say, I tell people, Peter Obi is not coming to be Nigerian's president because he's an evil man and uh, because uh, the southeasterners are saying it's our turn. We have not had the opportunity to be president in Nigeria and we want to be president. Our region is supposed to produce the president. No, we've not even heard him talk anything about that. He's coming to be Nigerian president because he's a president, he's, he's in Nigeria. That is what he has been saying. So, wait on the make us the trouble. Some people go talk, say, Peter will be no guest structure. For that reason, they're no good food for him. Some go say, ah, Peter will be not a good person. No, if he becomes the next president of Nigeria, he go do well. But he not get structure. And for that reason, they're not good food. He imagine. You don't face talk and say this man will do well. You are telling us that because he does not have structure, I beg, wait to be that structure when they, they talk. Nigerians are not, are they not the structures? Because they are telling us, they are making us to believe that Peter will be only have um, uh, supporters on social media. I go there ask. <laughs> Those supporters on social media, are they robots? They are human beings now. They are human beings. I have seen different occasions when I see this obedience movement. You, you come and see crowd. I will say, okay, this one's not be, not be human being, because then they let us they not say, Peter Obi. Now only social media if you feel win election, he not go fit win election, because he not get supporters. Well, the message is so clear. Similar message was preached in 2015, but it felt on deaf ears. But today we have all seen the results of it. Today in Nigeria, not only the poor, even the rich, even the rich ones are suffering. So this matter not be seen as only poor person. Last year, the popular musician David Doe cried when he went to buy dollar to embark on a foreign journey. Then it was below 500 naira per a dollar. But today it's over 700 naira. Meanwhile, when the economy was in the hands of competent managers, um, Gulog Jonathan, Dr. Ngozi Okonji, Yala, the dollar was below 200 naira. Let him that has his heal the voice of wisdom and vote for, and vote for competent candidates and not those who don't even have a certificate that shows they have stepped into a classroom. Make a drop out for you, my people. What's your take? Let's hear from you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you very much. Bye for now.